Knowing that we've got the strategy right is such a relief because I can tell you it's it's no it really has been nerve-wracking. First ever watch going to the Bahamas. But that's our 45th country now in Salton. Sure that everything is in tip top order. Okay, so here's the story about how we got into the Bahamas. Now, on Wednesday, I noticed that there had been some abandoned carts over the Black Friday weekend. One of the abandoned carts was from a chap in Nassau and Bahamas. What an abandoned cart is, is when somebody goes through the buying process but at the very last minute decides not to go ahead, literally just before they make the payment. So we've already captured all their information and I really wanted to get into the Bahamas. Anyway, so I videoed a message personalised just for him, telling him how much I'd love to be able to sell a watch into the Bahamas. Hi Dale, this is a video specifically for you. My name is Tim Hayden, I'm the CEO of Hag US Watches, and I'm sort of famously, I guess, trying to build a global watch band from right here in my kitchen in Northamptonshire. Now I saw the other day that you were looking at buying the Canberra watch, and uh, you got through to the checkouts and uh, you abandoned your cart. Well, I would really, really love for you to have a Hagrid's watch because I can see that you're in Bahamas. Now, I've never recorded a message like this before for anyone who's abandoned the car, but I've never sold a watch into the Bahamas and I'd love you to be the first customer. He watched the video and straight after watching it, he went onto our site and purchased the watch. So we now have the Bahamas as our 45th territory. I'm putting a handwritten card just saying, congratulations for being the first ever Thank you, rest owner in the Bahamas. So we'll put that in with the, in with the watch. Tim, I was wondering why are you covering blue paint? Uh, I was decorating Henry's new bedroom at the other house this morning. I've come back, I've got these watches to get out straight away, so I haven't got time to stop. The yeah, HL man is going to be here any second, and I need to have all the orders ready. Yeah, see you next Cheers, bye. Well, Black Friday, we didn't sell as many units as, as I'd hoped to sell, but it's been really encouraging. We just got all the data back and it's been quite incredible. A third of all our sales came from paid advertising. A third came from our email marketing, which includes sending links out on this HW Journey videos. And the other third came from organic posts. The great thing is that for every pound we spent on paid advertising, we got six pounds 67 back. That's a, huge, that's a huge markup. Knowing that what we're doing is working, knowing that we've got the strategy right, is such a relief because I can tell you it's, it's no, it really has been nerve wracking. So straight after Black Friday finished, I decided to start up a December sale, like a back to back sales. Now this is not normal practice, it's a complete and utter punt. We're gonna retarget all the people that engage with us on the Black Friday event and also build new audiences. One of the things that we need to do as a small business is take the risks now while we're small. We can't take the risks when we're big because then we could lose loads of money, it's too high risk. If we take the risks now and find out formulas that work, we can then scale them in the future. Because it's a December sale, I want to try and get a video of Chris Gale promoting it and I want to try and get him to wear a Father Christmas hat. What do you think the chances are of getting Chris Gale to wear a Christmas hat? I think I'll do it. I think he will. 